Hi, and welcome to another Sibelius 7 tutorial. In this video, I'll be showing you how to write a drum part. We'll learn how to input a bass, snare, open hi-hat, closed hi-hat, and cymbal. So let's start with the bass. We'll use quavers. Now let's input a snare sound. Now we'll input the closed hi-hat. If you've noticed that when I click here, Sibelius is not playing any sound. That's because we need to change the note head. So let's click on the first one here. We're now going to use a keyboard shortcut to change the note head. If we push Alt Shift 3 and then Alt Shift 2, we get an open hi-hat sound which is shown using this diamond-shaped note head. Let's push that keyboard shortcut again. And now we see that we have a closed hi-hat sound. Another way that we can change the note head is by first clicking on the note head that we want to change, going up to the Notations tab in the menu, clicking on the Type drop-down menu, and then selecting the note head that we want. We'll select Cross Note Head. Let's do it for the rest of these hi-hat notes. Now for a cymbal. Again, you'll notice that Sibelius is not playing any sounds. We need to change the note head to an X, just like we did with the hi-hat. I'm going to copy-paste this in the rest of the bar. So now we have all of our sounds, we just need to put them together. The way we'll do this is we'll lay out the rhythm that we want first, then we'll change our note heads. So let's just write a simple rock rhythm. Let's have a listen. Now let's write a rock rhythm using the cymbal. I'm going to select all of these note heads at once by holding down Command, clicking, and dragging over all of them. You can do this on Mac by holding Command, and on Windows by holding Shift. Now we'll use our keyboard shortcut one more time to change these note heads to X's. And let's have a listen. That's not the symbol that we want. So let's select them one more time, and using our keyboard, we'll move them up or down to find the sound that we want. That sounds better. My suggestion to you would be to experiment and see what you can come up with on your own. There are plenty of resources online that have example drum parts and you can just go and copy them out directly. And sooner than you know it, you'll be writing convincing and great sounding drum parts. Well thanks for watching, I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Subscribe for more content in the future and I'll see you in the next video. See ya!